good day, tropical day. I'm Gemma Hammer, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. We got tanks, medics loaded up, so let's go ahead and place our first attack on stage one. Um, so I'm gonna use the least amount of troops here, um, just to show you kind of guys, so that if you're lower level, you'll be able to get the most out of uh, the stages here, and what I would go for the route, so that might help you. Um, Another thing is, if you're not in a task force, join a task force because then you're able to show your attacks to your other players so you can ask the higher level players to show you how to do the harder stages. Um, that's what we do in our task force and it makes life a whole lot easier. So if I was you guys, um, that little can right there might hurt, but um, if you see on the right side, you're away from that sniper tower and you should be away from those... Uh, uh, troops should be far enough away. At least the um, the Zookas and tanks will be away from it. So, okay, cool deal. So, let's go ahead and get started on stage two. A dick! So, stage two, even easier than stage one. All you simply do is go right, and you stay right, and you get up all this extra GBE, and just to make life faster, so you're gonna clear all this, uh, all these little extra GBE um, gainers, the green gainers. That's what you call them, the green gainers. And then uh, all you gotta do is once they clear it out, you just flare all the way back here, and that big old giant machine gun shouldn't touch your troops. So your 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 troops are gonna gonna want to reposition themselves after they take out that little thing. See how it went back? But if you're using riflemen, they're gonna want to get closer. So once you do that, you want to flare right back here in this little sweet spot. And those uh that machine gun shouldn't be able to touch it. There you go. Let's go ahead and knock this out. All right, stage two clear, easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. Victory is ours. All right, so now let's, let's get started on stage three and let's give it a crack. Let's give Dr. Terra a crack. Um, so, okay, so on stage three, what I would do is flare your troops left. So we're going to do this. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, so you may not. I didn't mean to drop that many troops. This could have been done with three tanks um, or a lot less troops. I didn't mean to drop all my troops and go gung ho on this. But you want to go left. Um, and what you can do to avoid these mines, you may hit this boom mine back here and this mine right here like three of these mines because what you want to do is flare to the back and I'm hoping yeah it should be good and by flaring to the back what that will do is position them to where only this little baby mortar will hurt okay so stage three down like a cracker jack box Alrighty, alrighty, let's get to it. Stage four. This time I'm not gonna. Let's go ahead and scout it. And this time I'm not gonna just drop my troops. So, stage four. This rocket launcher is gonna be in range in every which way. So, it may be best to. This is where it helps to plan ahead. You want to take out this rocket launcher at some point, And you want to go right. So, you'll need to take out this boom cannon and this rocket launcher before anything. And if you have enough GBE, um, what I would suggest is just shocking that shock launcher. So let's go ahead and get started. We gotta take out this boom cannon. Boom. Let's drop, I think I can do this with one thing of tanks. Yeah, let's try it. One thing of tanks. And we're going to drop and our, a barrage in the back so we can gain 
extra, because I don't think I can take out that rocket launcher with one hit. Um, yeah. So, alright, we're making ground, making ground. I'm not using any medics right now because I want to show you guys that this can be done without medics. Uh, alright, so now we're going to have to... We're going to go right. Come on, hurry, hurry, take out that sniper tower. Those sniper towers eventually will hurt. As you can see. Alrighty. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. I'm gonna go right again. Now this little cannon is gonna hurt a little bit, so we're gonna take it out with uh with some barrage. Flamethrowers won't do anything, so there's no point in GBEing the now we're going to flare to the back. No point in taking those out with any GBE. Now, we got two sniper towers hitting us. It's not good. Let's throw a little barrage. Take it out. Now we're home safe. Nothing's hitting us. We got everything cleared. Cool beans. Or hot beans, whatever you prefer. It's all good. Let's go ahead and take this out. Since it's a time issue now. Alright, Dr. Terror, stage four. Done! Done. Alrighty. Dr. Terror, stage five. Let's see what you got. Let's see, let's see what you got to throw away this, Dr. T. So, we're gonna go right. Because this boom can is no joke. Neither is this one. This one's out of the way. This one, we need to take out. We need to go right. I may be able to just use... Hmm. This rocket launcher has to go as well. I want to drop two boats of tanks here. First things first, let's take out this boom cannon. We get it with one. Oh, we can. Perfect. In fact, I may be able to just do this with one. No, we need two dinks. It's got to be two dinks. Next, we're going to have to take out this back rocket launcher. Store a barrage so we can hit multiple targets. It's after we take out this. Okay, now let's go right. We gotta stay away from that cannon until the last possible second. And... We're gonna lay a artillery. Boom, right on it. Oh, hurry up and get on that. Okay. Let's land another artillery right there. Let's go right, and then let's shock all of these buildings. Boom. Now we need to drop an artillery. We're gonna drop two artillery on these. Boom, boom. Wow, it takes three? Okay, well we got it. We're gonna drop critters right there. And that should give us enough time. In fact, let's drop another one. And that would be my phone in the background. That's okay. Alright. I'm gonna shock this one. And let's go ahead and see if we can't take that out. Boom, we can. Okay, good. Now I think can we get it before he takes out any of my troops? Yeah, we got this. If not, let's throw a health down. Alright, so we busted that out. No losses, two boats of tanks. That is six tanks used. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stage five clear. Let's go ahead and stout, scout stage six. All right, so this one is not very tank friendly. And the reason why I say that, we can go, we have to go left here, but this rocket launcher, this shock launcher is in the way. 
and it's going to cause us a considerable amount of time and this one is as well but we should be able to shock all that until it's destroyed so we need to take this one out and then um, I need to use one boat of medics I'm going to use three boats here just to be on the safe side so first things first let's go ahead and take this out hopefully yeah we got some extra GBE because we're able to take out a bunch of these here now let's take out this cannon and shock launcher at the same time because it's going to help us towards the end now let's drop our tanks and drop a boat of medics and we're going to have to go left so we need to clear up here in front first we just got to be careful of the timing Okay, well after that mortar goes down, we're going to go left. Boom. Boom. Shock it. Stay left. Let's drop that. Shock it again. Shock it like a like a. Shock it like a like a. Shock it again. We're gonna lose a tank here. But now I think we're in the safe zone. And now we can go ahead and take out that sniper tower that's hitting us. And it's slowly hitting it. Now we got some GBE to spend on what? I mean, we're in the safe zone, so it kinda doesn't matter. So let's just go ahead and use it on the HQ. Now, what I do like to do is if there's any other buildings that I see, Use the artillery on this, right? Right? Because you'll gain... See that? And there's nothing else, so let's use the rest on the HQ. Boom. Boom. Alright, so that's going down. We lost one tank, unfortunately. Um, but... You know that... Uh, you should be able to knock it down with your troops. So... Oh, nice. Well, okay. Well, that's a mandatory crystal, meaning that's a guaranteed already. So, let's go on to stage seven. Typically, the stage seven is used for warriors because they're very untank friendly. Okay, guys, and we're back, and we got all warriors ready. And this is where this is going to come into play. I'm going to show you something. I'm probably going to back out, but we're obviously going to flare onto the flamethrower and then flare onto the HQ. So we're going to have to take out these mines. Well, the cheapest way to take out the mines is to use you you have the you have the option to use artillery, barrage, or the critters. Unfortunately, the critters will not take out these two mines between the rocket launcher and the uh, mortar because that's the glitch in the game right now. I don't know if Supercell can fix that or not, but here, I'll show you. They're in there, but they're not setting them off. See that? See how those two mines didn't even go off? There was like three critters on the top of them didn't even go off. Not to mention this boom mine right there. So that's what sucks. The only, one, the only thing that sets them off is artillery or barrage. So let's go ahead and scout it again. Um, and I think the cheapest way is going to be to use an artillery. That's three. That gives us some stuff here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Sets those off. And then... And then let's go ahead and... Flare onto... we got to flare onto this one, but I'm worried about this...
Heal him up. You got a little sun bath, that's all. Dang, am I gonna have to heal him up again? Alright, so now I just have enough to drop. Okay, I'm hoping we can get this. to nine warriors all right guys well it looks like this is gonna wrap it up i hope this video helped you guys i will see you guys tomorrow in dr terror volcanic stage peace